Ultron is returning to the MCU in the upcoming Vision TV series, and brand new details have recently revealed how exactly Ultron is going to go through a change, and how he might be completely different than what most people expect. Okay, so this comes at us as an update from Deadline, who further talked about James Spader returning as Ultron. And they revealed that from what they've learned, this will not be the same type of job that he did for the original film. Now, for those that aren't aware, James Spader did not do any motion capture or anything like that. He just provided the voice of Ultron. And in interviews after the film, he said some of the voice work he was doing, he wasn't even aware of, of how it would be used, in what context, and how he should play it. And obviously, if you watch the film, he does a phenomenal job, and I think that that worked because Ultron didn't need to show too much emotion when it wasn't needed, and it worked perfectly. But Deadline is now reporting that he is not returning to just do voiceovers. He instead will actually be on set, and that they are aiming to do more. Now, obviously, there's a couple ways to look at this. One is that he's going to be doing motion capture, which they seem to indicate will happen, which again does make sense. But also, there's the speculation that I also stated in the other video that I think he's going to be human. I think you're going to get a large part of this series where it's James Spader. We know it's Ultron, but the characters in the show don't know it's him. And that he's finally built himself a human-like body. And then at the end, in the third act, it's going to be like Agatha and WandaVision where they go all blow out CG. You get Ultron the way he's meant to be. Hopefully they remove his lips and just give us a comic look face to Ultron. And I think that's how they're going to handle it. And obviously this is one, budgetary restraints. But two, it's a TV series. So you got to not have a robot running around for eight episodes or however long it's going to be. You know, so I do like that we're hearing that there's going to be a lot. And that they're taking it in a different direction. I just hope that it's good. That's really my fear. Um, I love Ultron. He's one of those Marvel villains to me that I think is highly underrated. And as I've said before, Age of Ultron, I think it's a superior film to the first Avengers. It's my second favorite Avengers film. I absolutely love what James Spader did. And I hope that he gets to really flex his acting muscles and chops in and out of Ultron's body, because I think we could be in for something real special with him and Vision going, well, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe physically, but also some of that philosophical side as well.